I had been quite emotional after that time because obviously we hadn't won the league. I think it was maybe for five years. And so obviously whenever it goes on for that long, you're not sure if you're ever going to uh, win it again. Um, and that was a pretty good run that we went on from January. Um, and obviously which because we were chasing Crusaders down. And obviously, yeah, that's, um, that would have been... Um, then we went on, I think then we went on and done the double then that year as well, which, yeah, was a special season for us. Yeah, so that was after that game. Um, as I said, it would have been quite emotional. Um, and that would have been obviously the manager's first. Um, and, yeah, obviously just everything came and taught me all at once. And, as I say, the, it was a, obviously a happy day and a happy period and happy time. Um, Hence why I was like that. You do predominantly have a have a close, you know, relationship with the manager. Um, we obviously have have our fallouts, which is which is normal. Um, sometimes I might like what he says to me, and he might like what I say to him. Um, but it, look, it's a healthy, you know, close relationship, and uh, obviously I have huge respect for what he's achieved here and what he's done for me, and um, you know, but um, I'm grateful for him, you know. Massively. It's the fans, yeah, and really that their banner was for, for my testimonial game against Rangers. Uh, it was a surprise that whenever they had, you know, uh, had sort of that banner and, and, and obviously that done, um, it was quite special. And obviously that day was, was very, very special for me and my family um, to have such a good crowd at Windsor Park and to play against Rangers and to finish off, you know, a really good testimonial year um, that I've had, and obviously, you know, I would have a you know a very good relationship with the supporters, and I think that once they see you giving everything for the shirt and, and trying your best, then you know that's all they they, they ever ask, and it, I suppose it's the same with you know with any club that that you're involved with. Um, so that's me with obviously the the league trophy with with two of, my, two of my children, with Ali and Arthur. Um, and that would have been uh, last year after uh, beating Corian on, on the last day of the season here, which obviously was, was a really special moment with, with, with them too. Um, you know, I'm sure any footballer will tell you or, or any sportsman or even in, 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 in life in general, if, if you work hard, um, then you can achieve a lot. And... Um, and if you make sacrifices as well, then obviously you, you will achieve. But you know your family obviously make sacrifices as well, and and obviously they do. Um, obviously, all you know, mum and dad and brother come to the, all the matches, and over the years, mum and dad have sacrificed a lot. And now, you know, since I've been married, and you know, the, my wife is very supportive and never complains and is zero hassle. <laughs> um, and again, the, the, you know, the kids enjoy me doing what I do, and especially Arthur, who's um, limb-filled in the brain. A long, long time ago that. Um, it's actually Stephen Douglas's son Chandler at the bottom there, who's very, very young in it. Um, like that was obviously a special time to be a part of the club, especially when it was my first season as a young, young boy. And, you know, being schooled if you want to say by you know guys who who I looked up to and all, and looked up to you know supporting the club and then obviously to be on the same pitch and and being involved in the same squad as them um was very special and they you know they taught taught me so much and I learned so much from them it was quite surreal and obviously you know just sort of sucking it all up and sort of taking it all in and and again, obviously, being involved with that squad has, has, has helped me so much, obviously, even to now, to have that mentality and, and just what's expected of you, you know, to be successful here at, at Limfield. And as I say, you know, it's, it was very, very lucky and, and grateful to be, to be involved with those guys because, as I say, I learned so much from them. Those boys there that, that, that I'm involved with there, obviously, were... We're really, you know, 
specials, you know, special people and special players, you know, obviously the share changing room with them. And again, over those years that I grew up, you know, being involved with, you know, with Winky and Dougie and Peter and, and Chris, that again, I was a young boy and just learning so much off them. And um, yeah, as I say, look, they helped me a lot and, and it's great that we were able to share so many good, good memories and good times together. Yeah, pretty eventful, as you can imagine. Um, and, you know, I've been in many of the trips away, you know, even even after those times, you know, with Winky and Dougie, we went to the Euros and stuff, and <laughs> their, uh, their partners are happy that I go because, believe it or not, I'm actually the babysitter, <laughs> even though they're a lot older than me. Yeah, so obviously that was after... Um, I think that was after the, the, the TNS game where I scored a, a one-off goal. It'll never happen again. <laughs> um, still don't know how it how it happened. Um, but again, like that night was obviously give us then the platform to to go on and, and get a a couple of bites. Do you know what at, at group stage football and um, obviously that TNS game we looked dead and buried and and we came back and. As I say, that gave us a platform then to, to go on and and try and obviously get into the group stage, which we're you know so close to doing. Obviously, with 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 David there, um, I think that was maybe my first goal for Linfield, possibly. Uh, well, it would have been one of my, my early ones. Um, obviously, David brought me to the club along with you know Willie McKeown. Um Again, was hard but fair. Um, and again, probably something that that I had grown up in, grown up with, you know, coaches in the past who were hard but fair and and pushing you and driving you. Um, and again, that was something that, that I was used to and probably something that that I needed um, if if I wanted to keep reaching the next level and and, and keep trying to be the best. Um, David was obviously a big part of that and and a big driving force um, for me to be able to achieve that. It was hard but but very very fair um, and again he, he had that balance right in, in my opinion and and again you know everybody respected him and, and there was never really any issues in the changing room um, because everybody you know as I say respected him and and knew how, how, how good he was for us and yeah as I say just brought so much success and it was you know privileged to obviously be be working with him and, and to be a part of it. Uh, obviously, you know, here Windsor Park um, with the revamp of, of the stadium. Um, obviously, you know, it's a special place, obviously, you know, for us as Limfield. Um, it's always great, obviously, to, you know, to play here and you know, sometimes people say that the stadium is maybe too big for us, but um, look, the facilities that we have here as, as players is is fantastic. Um, and as I say, to play on a, on a big pitch and usually a good pitch, um, it's you know it works for us and it's and it's good for us. You know, having a, a big pitch like that and and a pitch that we're used to and, and we're comfortable with. Um, again, you know, the European nights have been special here with the, with the atmosphere and the crowd we've been able to get here and you know Irish Cup finals and stuff as well it's you know obviously you know great memories and, and hopefully it continues to be that way probably a good one the, the pick last isn't it the, the the league cup obviously the last time that that we've won it um against Balamina and I'd probably say that it was certainly wasn't our best performance and Balamina probably deserved, you know, to take it the extra time anyway with, with the, the, the opportunities that, that they had. But I think what we've had over the years is a steeliness and, and a and a mentality to, to to win football matches whenever it's tight and I would say that game was exactly that. Um again that was my second time winning it and have only won the League Cup twice. Um it's obviously something that I want to 
you know, do it again and, and obviously make it more than two, um, hopefully three anyway. And uh, that was a, obviously a, a great day.